Hello everybody, in this video you take a look at two unique items, well if you would like to freeze and you're not playing sorcerer and you want something that allows you to freeze for the classes, well there are two items that you can use. The first is the forced burn and the second one is the pentinet greaves. Now the first one will leave a trail, the boots uh, that can shield, of course if you get a 1% shield you're gonna freeze and the other one if lucky hits up to 20%. Uh, I mean, not to, uh, I got 20, you can get up to 25, chance to freeze an enemy for two seconds. So if you increase your lucky hit, you get a higher chance to do that. You can see also there's cold damage as well, freeze duration and critical strike chance as well on the hands, the gloves. So yeah, both of them allow you basically to slow down. And this of course leads to damage reduction, basically. Not that it affects the stats, but again, because enemies attack slower or just freeze, you get less damage overall. And aside from them, it's really fun. It's really fun breaking something that just freeze. I know those who are playing Sorcerer, it's nothing. But for those who play, for example, Druid or Barbarian, this is something that, well, you need to try out your different type of items in order to get it. And of course, this opened up more room for synergy related to CC and uh, stuns. So this is really nice to have uh, if you want to create some really unique and exotic builds. Now, first, you're going to enjoy it if you increase the crit chance and also uh, use something that have attack, fast attack speed of lots of hits uh, that can proc uh, more frequently. If you combine the two, of course, uh, you're going to trigger this one much more often. And of course, if you're going to use it, it's better to try to, you know, ramp it up a bit. So you're really going to benefit from it. Otherwise, well, it, it's not actually worth it. Because again, if you see, for example, the 20% will be on top of my lightning storm that has... 50% uh, lucky hit chance. So it's going to be pretty low, around 6%, something like that. Uh, so really, I mean, relatively it's high lucky chance, yeah, compared to other things. So it's pretty high, but still you need to ramp it up in order to make sure that it happens more frequently, right? And of course the other one is just freeze on the ground. I'm going to show you gameplay so we can actually check it out. It actually, uh, if you combine the two, of course, you have higher chance to actually um, freeze enemies. And uh, if you look here, you can actually see an enemy freezes. You can see, by the way, the thing on the ground, this is from the um, from the boots, not from the gloves. It helps to shield enemies uh, that uh, goes on my trail. Even if they are close, close range, you're still gonna get uh, uh, shield by that because it's kind of, you know, around me. And uh, so I can just, you know, go around them and, uh, and slow them down. And uh, yeah, regarding the, um, the gloves, this is really kind of a, just you need the heat to have a crit, sorry, to have a lucky heat actually to trigger. And uh, if it, uh, if, again, with the skill uh, heat chance, it will trigger and it eventually will freeze enemies on the spot for two seconds. Now even then can be further increased if you have some, you know, something that increases the duration of the CC. But again, this is the base number. So based on my early testing, even with my 50 print set and I have uh, on, the skill uh, and of course uh, uh, combined with the agents on the item it didn't happen very frequently this means that i knew that if i wanted to happen very frequently although i have lots of hits uh, this is my build of course i'll change it just for demonstration uh, with these two items it didn't happen very frequently so i need to put more uh, lucky hit chance in order to make it work more frequently and uh, uh, this is something that I might work out because, again, uh, I really enjoy playing with it. This can be something complementary for many builds. Although, again, when, you, for example, I give it up, um, I'm going to give up on something other thing for my build that I want. The thing is that if you see that, for example, your damage is very good and you want something extra and extra synergy, you can give up on something uh, from your, for example, like the gloves and use this glove and uh, try to create synergy that increase further the damage or create other type of cool synergies with that as well because you're using now a new glove that allows you to freeze enemies. Now again, usually when you create a bit, you want to rely less on having something that is rely on luck. But again, you can do that if you increase the luck and uh, can proc more frequently with high speed attacks or lots of hits. Uh, it can be eventually be good. But again, you need to kind of tailor your build towards it. Uh, yeah, so this is it. These two items. I'm gonna play with it more. I haven't decided if I want to because again, my build is already structured good, and these items comes, these uniques, and that make me really want to play with them. 
but we'll see maybe i'm gonna edit or we'll see we'll see how it goes uh, i more favor by the way the hand i don't know just being able to uh, freeze enemies for two seconds with lots of probes with uh, with my beard can work very well but then you can then hire lucky chance and this is it for this video just two really great uniques that can be very good uh, incorporating into your builds if you want to enjoy freeze and slows uh, and create some really unique synergies as well uh, and this is it for this video uh, if you use it let me know what you think about it if you like them and how you incorporate them in your builds see you on the next guide thanks for watching cheers